Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new playthrough of Soma. Now I've had this game in my library forever and for some reason I've never gotten around to playing it until today. Um, all I know about this game is horror and robots, um, which sounds like a fantastic combination to me. Um, so let's go ahead and let's jump in. Let's see what this game has to offer for us. Game mode. Normal. Monsters are dangerous and can kill you. You need to think and sneak to survive the way the game was designed from the start. I'll probably go with normal. That seems like what I usually do when I play games. Nah, we're not babies. We're not going to do safe. Oh, those are the only options. All right, then we're going to go with normal and we're going to start game. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Munch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Christ. Car accident. Traumatic. Hint, objects can be interacted with using the left mouse button. All right, we better answer this. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. All right, we can move around using WASD. We've done this before. Okay, we've got messages. Where did I put the tracer fluid? Tracer fluid is what we're on the lookout for. Tracer fluid, where are you? He said it was green? That, that's that got to be the same fluid that he said he was talking about on the phone call. I don't really know what I'm looking for. There's a lot of stuff I can pick up. Um, I'm not really clicking at all because... Well... <laughs> I don't know if I need all of this stuff. Maybe I do. Okay, can't click on the mug. Okay, I do want to see what this message is. Hey Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, miss you, mean it. End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Come on, dude. We told you exactly what we were doing this weekend. We are oversleeping and losing our fluid. That sounds bad. Neurograph session from David Munshi. Subject, Neurograph session. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto, but since we are guests of uh, since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. Sincerely, David Munshi. All right, we've got some kind of scan. That's what we're looking the fluid for the fluid for the scan. And new prescription, dear Mr. Jarrett. I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. 
Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months, at least until you need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from build up, building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for Pazacin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest and I'll see you next week. Okay, so clearly we're a car accident victim. We have kind of bleeding in our brain, which I'm pretty sure is not good. Isn't bleeding in your brain like what a stroke is? Um, and so we're, we're dealing with it with medication right now and we have some kind of brain scan coming up. Um, and finally we have a draft, so this is something we haven't actually sent out. Oh, I forgot to hit send. Um, to Jesse, the grimoire. Hi Jesse, since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got the doctor's appointment tomorrow, so I'm not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store. Wow, it seems like a reliable employee. And please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They are starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they are put on shelves where people are actually able to see them. Good luck. You'll need it. Wow. Sounds like a very uh, patient employer. <laughs> yes. Hopefully she gets this. I hope it's not better Saturday today. Never. Okay. Good. We checked our emails. These things are glowing, which I'm guessing means that they're special and we want to interact with them. Use the mouse to rotate and right to uh, exit. All right. Draft A. Or alert. I can't even read what that says. Volume 7 to 12. Convention. It's a little cute robot holding a knife. Pie chart. Line graph. Okay. I don't know what we're looking at here. Get well soon. Okay. So we have a we have a mom who cares about us. Okay. Is there anything on the back? No. All right. Still haven't found the test fluid that we're looking for. Okay, opening doors in this game is a little weird. You actually have to like click and hold down and pull the door open. Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. Hmm, beautiful view, beautiful. That is an ugly building. I I can't keep I can't keep up this lie. Can I open the window? It smells in here. No. Okay. Gosh, where are your manners? Close the the toilet seat. There we go. Okay, maybe the fluid's in the bathroom. This is where a lot of like prescriptions and whatnot are taken. Uh, nope. There's toothpaste and deodorant. Laundry in the bathroom. Hanging up our jeans. Mapping mines. Hmm, looks like some light reading. Widely praised as one of the most comprehensive yet accessible texts about the anatomy of the human brain, its function, and our perception of consciousness. Find out how your brain is dependent on its body, why the brain is not simply a computer, and a multitude of other interesting facts that will make your head spin. My head is already spinning enough. Thank you very much. I don't need that. No, I do not. Massive recoil. Sounds like a, uh, sounds like a bad movie. John Hugh is a corrupt cop working in Hong Kong. One day his life is turned upside down as he meets Amber, a mysterious foreigner who is kept prisoner by the Golden Dragon Triari Triad. Get ready to go rogue. All right, all right. We don't need to. We don't need to read every single thing we come across. I feel like we'll be in this room all day. Okay. Maybe it's in. Uh, maybe it's in one of our cupboards. Fluid. Green. Hopefully. Is, why is this jammed shut? We live we live here. We have a we really have a cover that's just jammed shut? Okay. I can't open that one. No. Okay, I'm making a mess. I'm doing what I do at my own house. I just keep everything, all my all my cupboard food. 
door is open. I should buy something healthier on my way home. Uh, is it in this box? It says the paste. No. Okay, we can use the scroll button while holding an object to hold it closer. Okay, I can't find what I'm looking for in here, so I'm going to take my keys. I'm going to take my mail to Simon Jarrett. That's me. Can I open it? No. Okay, it's mail, but I'm not interested enough to open it. I really should drink the tracer fluid before I go see Dr. Munchie. Oh my god, this tracer fluid. Quit it with the tracer fluid. I've looked everywhere for it. Did I open my desk drawers already? Oh my god, okay. Okay, we found it. Downtown accident kills young woman. Toronto. Yesterday, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadinia Road. The mother and her children, traveling in a robust SUV, were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less likely. lucky. As the car crashed into the passenger side, Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damages and suffered from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Oh no! Her friend, the driver, Simon Jarrett, survived but with complicated results. Our friend died! Oh, That is tragic. Okay. Hint, to use an object you have acquired, press left click. Okay, we gotta drink the tracer fluid. This bottle looks empty. Feels like milk, but the taste, it's like sucking on a penny. Ew. Milk textured penny. Okay, I don't know if we're gonna find anything more useful in the uh, bedroom. Um, I tend to be very completionist when I play games, but um, I am also very aware that that is not the, um, not the most entertaining thing to watch. So I'm gonna try and chill out with reading everything. Out we go. Car crash victim. Dead friend. Brain scan. Tracer fluid. The pieces are coming together. Arriving at Osgood. Why would we ignore her? Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after this scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt. Chris helped me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, I guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Jesus. Thanks for making me feel better, dude. Hope they can fix the whole dying thing. Gotta get me a friend like that. Um, let me actually take this moment to see if I can turn on co closed captions in this game. Um, for those of you, it might make it easier for you to hear, because that phone call was a little bit quiet on my end as well. All right, um, we're back. Hello? Dr. Munchie? This is so sketchy. I'm not doing a brain test in a place like this. Where is everyone? It's like half under construction and dark. How am I supposed to feel safe here? Where are you, Dr. Munchie? Oh. Well, we can jump. I don't even know why I didn't try jumping earlier. The snoop on their computer. I don't know why they left it on. Scan now. Dr. Munchie. Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Okay. So he knows we're coming. From David Munchie. Subject, get your stuff ready. 
Hi, Paul. Talk to Pace about using your lab this week. I have managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use the computers to run models and also if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan on each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Aaron Peake will send somebody over. She has patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. David. We're locked out. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change, so I called security, talked to Professor Wei to have him vouch for our project, and finally get a hold of someone, some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code and mail a text, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forgot. All right. Strange. Did they get locked out again? Okay, so we need to find this note. This note with the code. Okay, let me make sure it's not just like sitting on top of the desk. No, maybe it's in the drawers then. Okay, I've learned my lesson. We look in drawers for things. Page 56. Neurographics. Moment definition. Tweak for right length. 2501. Man, if this is the guy's notes, you need to have a seriously improved organization skills. That is unbelievable. Put your scalpel away. The brain can heal itself. Okay, at least they're not doing like a full on brain surgery. Okay. Okay. I already forgot it. It's 2501? 2501. 2501. All right. I keep pressing escape. 2501. There we go. Just letting myself in. Something I would never do in real life. If there's a locked door and my appointment and nobody's there to show up, I would probably just head back home. Uh, can I go in here? No, it's locked. Fire hose, fire rescue. You know what? That's a warning symbol. I don't want to go in there anyways. Okay, the game obviously wants us to go in here. Friday, Steve, all day. Nobody signed in for Saturday. Hello? Let's turn on the lights. I don't like all this darkness. This doesn't look good. Okay, we got a bunch of brain scans and medical stuff that means nothing to me. Hmm. We'll just throw it on the floor. Man, if this was the room I was going to get scanned in, good thing I'm not getting scanned anyways. This is like super sus. This is, like, there's like needles and stuff, but this does not look like a sanitized, clean, safe room. Okay, we're just throwing stuff all over the place. Making it known how upset we are that they stood us up. Going this way then. Oh hi! Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Doctor Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mister Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah, it's a study I'm doing with my colleague Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes, yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Um, Dr. Munchie, don't feel the need to go into that room. It's totally not trashed or anything. We can start when you're ready. I'm feeling pretty ready, um, though, honestly, this looks a little scary. Okay, so we're ready. What exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. 
In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study, this will actually help me. Well, I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> wow, thanks for the reassurance. Do I just need to keep talking to you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm so uncomfortable. Oh, Jesus. All right. Let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Correct. Toronto, Canada. This is Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph. Version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Cheese. This guy is sending signals into our brain. What happened? Uh oh, something went wrong. Where's Dr. Munshi? Hello? Mr. Munshi? Oh my god. How long was it? Did something go wrong? That's not the question to be asking, man. Clearly something went wrong. This isn't funny! Oh my Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I, I'm not supposed to put myself in... Stressful situations? This is kind of stressing me out! Oh my gosh. Hey! Anyone? What happened to the door? Wasn't this like a normal looking door before? We're like in a different place. Uh, what? This, place. this is not Where'd where I we were. Here? This is a completely different room. Do I need one of these fancy suits? Can I have one of these fancy suits? I feel like I want one of these fancy suits. Okay, okay, so not everything is as it seems. We thought we were getting a brain scan and somehow... He drugged us and kidnapped us and put us in this creepy place. Automated. Unlock terminal from service console. Okay, where's the service console? Here. Insert Omni tool to access. I don't have one. So we need to find the Omni tool. Well, we've got a fire hydrant. Yeah, let's just throw the fire hydrant at the computer. See if that fixes things. Sometimes computers just need to get a good whack. Ah, we don't live in the 80s anymore. Okay, we'll open the fuse box. If I knew anything about electricity, I'd probably know how to work that thing, but... I don't. Omni tool. Anything here that looks like a omni tool? Are these drawers that I can open? I'm tripping over this chair. Uh, oh, maybe I just need to click this. No, doesn't like my fingerprint. Omni tool chip installer. Okay, so it looks like this. There's like a red a white and a yellow bit. Build, shape, and optimize your Omni tool with fully customized tools and assistance. Okay, so do I need to find a white, a red, and a yellow bit? Okay. Oh, I'm dumb. Thank you for the hint, game. The game is getting frustrated at me. Is 
Yeah. There we go. Climb through the broken window. Okay. Locked. We'll have to go around. Okay. Now we can go in and out more easily if we need. Hmm. But which way? Which way looks the least scary? Okay, this way looks locked. I'm guessing our fingerprint's not gonna work there. Okay. We can take this thing off. Now it'll let us in. Whoa. What's happening? What do they put in my brain? Why can't I see clearly? Okay, I hope I don't encounter any of those things. Who in their right mind would make a robot to look that creepy? Pathos 2. Oopsalon. Okay. Um, let's get out of here. I don't like it in here. Yeah. Okay. So the other way. Break room. This sounds a lot more inviting. Yes, please. Break room. Ew. Munchy print. Immediately feel a lot worse. Munchy print. Let's put these boxes in here, see what happens. No. It's not doing anything. Home is a state of mind. Yeah, you would say that. It's impossible to feel at home here. There's a bathroom? Is there a robot in the bathroom? Probably the one safe place in a robot apocalypse. Because robots never need to use the bathroom. They'll never think to look. Data buffer. It's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can. Rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock out the comsat. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we're leaving our power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. How did I do that? That's right. How did I do that? I could hear, like, the, the conversation in my mind. They're sealing this place down? Oh my gosh. Let me out! Let me out! I don't want to be here anymore. Oh, this again. It's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Okay, I don't want to listen to that again. They're having a hard time getting the doors open. They're sealing the doors. We're trying to leave one way out. So at least we know there's a way out. I'm just not being creative enough to find it. Give me a suit. I want a suit. No, there's nothing for us in here. Um, maybe we need to get something that will like break through the broken gates, like bolt cutters. Maybe the old old throwing the fire fire hydrant at it will work. Are there any more like glass windows that we could be breaking through? I didn't see any in this room. Yeah, no glass windows in this room. Can we click on this? No, what happened to my fire hydrant? I'm keeping that with me. 
In the eventuality of any robot encounters, we will throw this at their head. Okay, let's head it down there for a moment. Bathroom break room. What are we missing here? There's nothing in here. <sighs> okay. Filthy. Who left all this trash in here? Oh, maybe there's something good in the trash. Or dumpster diving. No. Okay, really not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. I thought this was a horror game, not like a puzzle game. I've had enough puzzles in my life. I wanted a game where I didn't have to think. I could just get scared. Excuse me. I accidentally clicked out of the game. Okay, looking at the robots makes me... Living old memories. Oh no. Oh no. Is that one of the robots in the other room? Um. Shit, it's gone. Um. Oh boy. She was talking to the robots. I have it ingrained into my mind to like sneak from other video games. It's probably not doing me any good here. I'm sure robots have better ways of sensing people than hearing. Press Q or E to lean left or right. Okay, so we can lean around corners. Oh my god. This was closed before, now it's open. Okay. Where did it go? We should be good unless that thing turns on. Oh, please don't turn on. Okay, a lot of locked gates here. Caution, no storage permitted. You know what? I don't want to touch any machinery. Like, I don't want to accidentally turn anything on again. That- Oh my god. Moving while crouching is less noisy and reduces the chance of being noticed. Okay, so I was being smart. Being noticed from what though? Is 
there something over here? If there is, I'm not seeing it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do I have to go in there? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not going in there. Okay. Yeah, now it's coming back to me why this game has been sitting in my library for so long without me playing it. I don't know if me and horror really get get along with it very well. Oh my god. Post looks clear. Is there any reason not just to play the whole game in, like, crouch mode? Uh, there might be some stressful moments where we want to sprint away and sneaking isn't worth it anymore. We need swipe control. What? What? What was that? We need swipe control. I don't have swipe access. All right, it's dawning on me that we may need to go into that horrible room. Okay. Okay. Ah, ah, what was that? Shit. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just got shocked. Nothing too intense. Okay. Um, my gosh. This game is going to be too much for me. I can't even handle getting shocked. Do I really have to go in here? That was some pretty, pretty violent screaming. Being very sneaky. Okay, I got an Omni tool. I have an inventory. Tab. Oh, that must be that little icon down there when I press tab. Okay, all oh, that's just like generic crap. Is any of this useful? No, do I want to get shocked again? Oh my gosh, is that a person? That's a person. Oh, get me out of here. Oh my gosh. I think that's my first real, real horror game. What's the point of getting this tool if it doesn't even get me into the... It doesn't even get me into the room. Okay. 
So maybe backwards is the way to go, but that's where the robot was. I don't really want to go back back to where the robot was. And what's with the screaming in this room? Wait a second. Okay, just making sure before we go all the way back that we didn't miss anything in here. Anything important. Tripping over this stuff, I'm gonna make a really loud ruckus. Oh, there's a little instruction manual right here. Omnitool V2.5 Smart Access Computer. The Omnitool is an advanced interface for accessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems. Maybe it'll let us control some of those scary robots. On the onboard intelligence includes an open set of behaviors and protocols to enable the user to automate routine actions through basic logical charts. Over time, the Omni tool will automatically adapt its programs to cover subconscious behavior to optimize the work and minimize user error. What does that mean? The Omni tool has a short range signal useful for basic automated actions such as opening doors. While performing complex operations, the Omni tool should be physically connected to a workstation or terminal. To upgrade your device, simply slide operators into the main or auxiliary slot. The main slot has a standard C11-21 to 21 connector, which allows the user to fit most market Cortex chips into the Omni tool. Note that introducing an additional AI will override the onboard intelligence. The auxiliary slot is a multi-connector fitting a large range of tool chip models, including but not limited to... This means nothing to me. Uh... There was an Omni tool station in like one of the very first rooms we were in. Like I think it was the room we woke up in. If I can get back there without dying, we might be able to like upgrade our Omni tool. This is back where the robot was though, and I don't want to come back here. What? What's that light? I saw a light. Not in here. This is not where the Omni Tool station was. Oh my god. Is there like a hotkey for saving? I'm worried that we're gonna die. Okay. Where did it go? Okay, okay, this is promising. I think we are in the right place. We're downloading Pathos 2 onto our Omni tool. Service console up to 3, including pilot seed activated. System status. Remote access denied. Servers offline. Main power suspended. Emergency systems. 30, 13 days remaining. That means nothing to me. Manage tool chip. Welcome back, Luis Miron. Your army tool is in perfect condition, but not fitted with a tool chip. Notice that without a tool chip, your FST kit will be unavailable, including your cross-site security access. Yeah, we need the cross-site security access. To continue using your designated privileges, please insert a tool chip and run an update. Tool chip not inserted. Unlock toolbox.
orientation. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pathos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not gonna happen. Don't get me wrong, I don't wanna get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running, but there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't wanna hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knocked out the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors, basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. Wow, nice guy. Sounds like a real stand-up guy. Um, okay, so... We're gonna end the episode there. Um, it's been a little bit of a long one. Um, but I just wanted to get myself acquainted with the game, and I, and I think we have. Um, the beginning lulled me into a false sense of security. I'd almost forgotten this was a horror game. So, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Um, please no spoilers if you've, uh, played this game already. Um, I really want to experience it myself for the first time. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you next time.